Hi foodies, let's make some potato salad. So here, I want to show to you all my ingredients before we start putting that together. In here, I have my potato. I give it a good boil. So in here, I have some celery stalks, some red and yellow bell peppers. This is the leaf from the celery stalk. We'll be using that. In here is my peas and carrots. I zap it frozen once, fresh frozen. Zap it into the microwave for a good two minutes and then, you know, you let it cool. I'll be using some plain Greek yogurt or regular yogurt, whatever yogurt you have. And we're gonna be using some mayo, mayonnaise or mayo. You can make your own if you wish. A little hint of olive oil, a good bodied extra virgin olive oil. Some, if you don't have vanilla, balsamic vinegar or coconut or whatever flavor, it's fine. Just use a regular, regular apple cider vinegar or white vinegar. I have a coconut flavored one, so I'm gonna be using some of that. I'm gonna use some chili, dry chili flakes, some chopped chive, if you have fresh one, go ahead. And I'm gonna be adding some radish, some sweet relish, sorry. This is, has a, it has a nice sweet and tangy flavor to it. Just gonna make this dish pop. And some white pepper, black pepper. I have some garlic powder. I'm gonna use that. Smoked sweet paprika, as I say, it's fully loaded. And I have some cayenne pepper for a little heat some onion powder for flavor. Now two things, I have this pear mustard that I managed to pick up. I'm just being fancy. If you don't have that, that's fine. Just use regular good old yellow mustard that granny used to use. But I wanna use some of that. And of course I'll be adding some salt and some sugar. And let's not forget some boiled egg. Now you could dice your boiled egg, mix it in. I do not like it because my family don't really like the egg. So I boiled the egg to show to you and let you know how you could use your egg in your potato salad. I'm just going to do the presentation with that lovely boiled egg. So let's start mixing this lovely, fully loaded potato salad here from Jenny's Walk. In goes my mayo or mayonnaise, and I'm going to add my yogurt in there. That looks good. And we have, we're using all the liquid ingredients, and I'm going to go with my fancy pear mustard. There you go. Let me taste this while I have it in the spoon. Let me see how this tastes, food. It's the first time I'm trying this. Mmm, wow. A nice smooth pear taste. You get it, smooth texture. The pear flavor in there. And of course, mustard is there. So now let's, <clears throat> let's add some of this. There's no spice in that though. This looks really nice. That's about enough. And we're gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil. A nice good bodied olive oil some nice flavors in there and that will also help your your potato run smooth and nice in goes some of that coconut flavor yep you have regular flavor that's fine you go ahead and we're going to add some i like to add sugar in mine i don't know about you but the sugar really makes it taste nice i'm going to add a little salt now your salt when you boil your potato i know you're going to be adding your salt in there so let's give this a good mix. Okay, so now let's go in with all our powdered ingredients. So now let's start with our little cayenne pepper. We're going slow because we have several different types of peppers in here. Then we have some white pepper. Then in goes some black pepper. We got a fresh, yep, fresh cracked black pepper. I love black pepper. I absolutely love white pepper even more. So here is that garlic powder that I brought from the garlic festival. My foodies who follow me, you remember that. We do not want to add too much because you know it's very potent when it's dry. And we have that onion powder. There you go. Just a little bit. You're not going too heavy with your spices and herbs. Now this is chopped. If you have fresh one, it's even better. If you have dill, my dear foodies, dill supposed to be in this, but I'm, I don't have any dill. No fresh dill, no dill in the fridge, nowhere, and I'm really upset about it. But I'm gonna leave it in the ingredients to, when you're making it, get some fresh dill. So here is my smoked sweet paprika. This is sweet. And now that's about all we have there, and now let's give this a good mix. So good mix in there, so the salt and the sugar and all your flavorings incorporate into this lovely uh, sauce as we would say so now when you coat your potato it's all evenly distributed so now let's add the rest of the ingredients in goes the pepper and that celery 
our steamed peas and carrots. You could use fresh one if you have. You don't have to put peas. If you don't like peas, it's not a problem. We're gonna add some of this leaf and we're gonna leave some to for the top for presentation. Just give that a little mix. No big deal with the mixing now of this because the sauce is really the most important part of it. That looks marvelous now. So let's take this potato here and let us just give it a good little mash. Get a fork, I'm just being lazy. And let's just mash this potato. Okay, so there is that mashed potato. So now what this is gonna do, this will just keep your potato salad. I saw this is a trick in the video I was looking at and it really works well. Since then I started doing my potato salad like this. So I wanna share this with you. You know here at Jenny's Work, we're here to learn, share and create. So just incorporate it really nicely. Now what it does is hold the potato together nicely. So you have some body in there. Now that's all done. Now add your boiled diced potato. Now you could put, you could cut your potato whatever size you like. Oh, one jump out, let's put it right back inside. Now you just fold in. Let's just go ahead and fold and fold and fold. Let me fold this a little bit. So there you go. You see how that potato suck up all that lovely sauce that we made there with the, I say it's a sauce with the mayo and all of that. Now look at the thick richness of it, but yet it's very creamy. And there you go, lovely potato salad. Now let's do a presentation. Okay, foodies, so you could take your eggs and just place them around like this for your presentation. Uh, if your family likes it into the potato salad, that's fine. Please go ahead and add it in. I am just showing you, giving you a little idea over here. My family do not like it. And you just sprinkle it at about, this looks good. I just have a lovely sweet flavor to it. I really do like it. And that's great. Now, so just a little chili flakes for a little color only in the middle. There you go. That looks nice. And my smoked sweet paprika, we will drizzle it all around and make it sure it gets into that yolk part of the egg to give it a lovely color and presentation. There you go. Now that looks marvelous. Look at that. Beautiful indeed. Simple and easy do it. Lovely potato salad here, fully loaded. Only thing missing is that dill. Yes, that dill is so much on my mind, foodies. You will not believe. There you go. Beautiful potato salad to enjoy here from Jenny's Walk. And there you go, foodies. That lovely potato salad. Simply divine, fully loaded potato salad here. Great for this festive season. So don't forget to like and share this lovely video with your friends and family. Follow me on Facebook. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And invite all your friends, family, and co-workers to join in for lots of great dishes here. Jenny's Walk. Always bringing great flavors to the table. Enjoy.